We're nearing that time of year when we can start planting our gardens. And an event like CD Saturday is just the thing to get us thinking about growing plants. CD Saturday is um, an annual event that happens in many communities across North America. And what it is basically designed to do is bring together growers and seed savers and share knowledge and kind of kickstart the growing season. And so since in Quinell right now we do have a fair bit of snow um, and everyone is highly anticipating this next growing season, we thought right now would be an excellent time to be doing our CD Saturday. Let's find a pea. You've planted a plant. Yeah, you made it. I'm making a tulip. That's awesome. We're teaching the kids how to plant seeds and how to keep them growing and stuff. And uh, what's the response been? It's been pretty good. Lots of kids have been here. Nice. And uh, what's fun about this for you? Um, I get to play with the dirt and the seeds. It's important to save heritage seeds because the way it's going right now in base in well in many regions and in Canada in particular there is a big push for genetically modified seeds that do not self propagate so if you have a tomato that is a GMO it, it sometimes it is produced so you cannot replicate those seeds you cannot reseed yourself so you cannot therefore plant and grow another tomato heritage seed introduces many more varieties it introduces varieties that, that you may not have seen for several years, a generation perhaps, and it just kind of keeps the varieties going. Variety is really important in growing, um, in vegetables and in fruit. If you are only limiting the amount of, of products and, and, and produce that's available, you're going to have more problems. We've got quite a collection of seeds here today. We've got everything from annuals to perennials, flowers and vegetables. Most of these have been saved by gardeners in Prince George. So we've got like the bread poppy, which you can grow. It's a lovely flower in the garden, as well as you can use the seeds for cooking. It's really important to actually keep seeds that are actually growing in an area um, growing because what happens is the seeds actually develop a memory for an area in a sense and so they actually can be more productive and more beneficial to the area and by sharing them we make sure that somebody is growing them somewhere within the region even if I lost a crop they still would have the seed. Well, I think any, any event like this is really good because what happens is people can connect with other people and you never know where you'll run into them again, but it allows us to know more about what we can do in our communities and what we can do for ourselves as far as producing food and being aware of what's happening in the environment and with plants, trees and the wildlife around us. We've got everything from annuals to perennials, flowers and vegetables. I think one of the things that's really, really important is, is I think that we need not to rely on other people to do what we need to do for ourselves. We need to take responsibility for our food and for our landscapes and for our wildlife. And these are events where people actually do take responsibility for those things. And by doing that, we actually can say a lot as a community to people who do produce seeds like the larger seed companies about what we want and what we expect in our world too. This is my first time. I'm just so excited to be a part of it and learn new things. Do you store and save seeds of your own? I have for the last 10 years. I'm a big promoter of heritage heirloom seeds. And why? Because yeah, you can save them and use them again and distribute and share them with friends. It has just been phenomenal. Um, everyone has just come away with so much information and we are already planning next year. It is going to be bigger and better and even more awesome.